Hey guys, welcome back to part 11 of the Firestore tutorial. So as I already mentioned in the last video, Firestore does not have an OR operator. So we could not create a single query that retrieves all documents where the priority is either to or file for example. This is not possible. Firestore does also not have a not equal to operator. So we could not retrieve all nodes that have a priority that is not to, but lower than to or bigger than to. In these cases, we have to run separate queries and merge them locally. And that's what we're going to do in this video. We will run a query where we retrieve all our nodes where the priority is not to. For this, we create one query where the priority is less than to and one where the priority is greater than to. So we have one, three, four, five, and so on, but not two. We also delete this order by title here. And now I'm gonna cut out the whole content of this onSuccess method here, where we create this empty string, retrieve all document snapshots from the query snapshot, recreate our node objects and set their content on our text view. We cut this out and now we delete the onFailure listener and the onSuccess listener. And behind the get method here, we put a semicolon. Because when we take a closer look on the get method here, we can see that it returns a task of type query snapshot. And instead of retrieving these values right here, we can also save this operation in a variable of type task. So we can write task, let's call it task1 equals notebook ref dot blah 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 dot get. And the same way we can create our second task, task, task2 equals, again we take our notebook ref, this time we want rare greater than, Priority, two for the value. We want to order this by priority as well. Dot get, semicolon. And now we have two completely independent queries. The problem is when we just retrieve these values like this, we don't know which one of them finishes first. It could be that this one finishes first and then our order is not correct anymore. Also, we will have duplicate code because we have to retrieve these values on both of them. This is not very convenient and what we can do instead is we can combine these two tasks into one single task. So we create another task object, we call it all tasks or whatever you want equals and then we write tasks with capital T and an S on the end. It's not task, it's tasks dot when all and here we have different methods. We will choose when all success and as the name implies this will only resolve if both tasks that we passed in there are successful. If one of them fails, we won't get a result back. And here we can either pass a collection, like a list, or we can simply pass our tasks as var args. Var args are indicated by these three dots here, and this just means that we can pass as many tasks as we want, basically. When all complete and when all, both resolve when our tasks are completed. So they don't have to be successful, it's also possible that they failed. If you want to add an on failure listener, then you have to choose one of them because our when all success method will only be called when both tasks are successful. The difference between when all complete and when all is that when all returns a task of type void as you can see here, so you don't actually get a result back in the onSuccess method. Instead you have to retrieve the results by calling dot get on these task objects here. When all complete on the other hand returns the results in the onSuccess listener. So it's probably the more convenient choice. But as said we choose when all success And now we can pass our two tasks, task1, task2, semicolon. And on this task, the same as before, we can add an onSuccess listener, pass a new onSuccess listener, and we get this onSuccess method here, which returns a list of type objects. This list contains our two query snapshots, one for the less than priority to and one for greater than priority to. And now we would have to iterate through this list of objects, cast these objects into query snapshots and then get our document snapshots out of there. But instead of doing it like this, we can also define a type for our task and then we will get this type as the result. So what we do is we write task, angle brackets, list, another pair of angle brackets, query snapshot, because this is the return type we want to get. And then we take our alt tasks variable, call dot, add on success listener and pass a new on success listener, like this. Now we get returned a list of query snapshots and down here we close it with a semicolon. And this list contains the query snapshots in the same order as we passed our tasks to this when all success method here. Task1 which is where less than, task2 which is where greater than. And now I'm gonna paste the part that I cut it out like this. And now it tries to read the single document snapshots out of the query document snapshots variable, which was our one single query snapshot before, if you remember. 
The only difference is now we have two query snapshots in this list. So we have to execute this whole part here two times. But of course we don't want to reset the string two times and we also don't want to cast that text two times. We only want to do this one time. So we put this part here into another for loop. For query snapshot and we give it the same name as here. Query document snapshots in query snapshots which is our list of query snapshots. Curly brace here and another curly brace down here. And then we press Ctrl Alt L to rearrange everything. Perfect. Now let's run our app and test it. Now let's add a few more nodes. Priority 1, Priority 2, Priority 3, 4, and two more with the priority tool, because those are the ones we want to filter out. And now let's test it. And now as soon as we click load, we should not see any node that has a priority of two. Load, and we see four, three, one, so this works. It also maintained the correct order. So this is effectively a not equal to query. And if you want to run an or query, this works the same. You will create these tasks objects, and then you channel them into a one task with these when all methods. But remember, if you want to add an on failure listener, you can't choose when all success. Instead, you choose when all or when all complete. If this was helpful, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe for upcoming parts of the Firestore tutorial. Take care.